Does it look, oh, did you see that? It just like spin, okay. Hopefully it looks straight now. Hey YouTube, what is up? Today we are here with another DIY for a rave. I'm specifically going to EDC if you guys didn't already know that. If you did, you saw the last couple of videos. I am very excited, but I do need a second day outfit, so what I'm gonna do is create this mermaid looking type bra. And I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I really don't know what we're gonna do here. All I know is it involves some starfishes, shells, pearls, like all that under the sea stuff. But we're just gonna wing it. Well, maybe you guys aren't, but I am right now. I'm gonna wing this DIY, but you can follow along if you really like what I do and create your own mermaid bra. So so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into the DIY. Alright guys, I just put my hair up because things are about to get real with this DIY, but I do want to go over the materials first. So what I got first, remember this from our last video, these are just rhinestones. These are from Michaels, they're $10, but there's coupons. Then you're going to need some starfishes. I bought these and I have old ones, so it depends on how many you want. These are also old, but these are just a bunch of shells. These I got from the dollar store, so a whole pack of like 20 was for a dollar. Now these are shell necklaces. I got this at Hobby Lobby. It comes with like five necklaces, so that's pretty good. It is six dollars. Then I got this really, really pretty colored glitter. So it's just teal. This was only two dollars at Michael's. Then from the dollar store, I got this pearl necklace that we will be cutting up. Then of course, you're just gonna need your hot glue gun and some scissors. And last but not least, we, of course, we need the bra. So I just picked out a blue one so the rhinestones match really well with it. Let's get to it. All right, so we have our plain bra right here and we are gonna go in with our shell necklace and we're gonna start gluing the left side, the very top of it. Now I know I should have cut the necklace, but I was afraid that all the little shells were gonna slide off, so I didn't, but it turns out you can because the string is like specially made, which is actually really cool. Now we're gonna snip off each end, and we're gonna repeat this step with white shells. So I'm just measuring right here, figuring out where I want it, and then I'm gonna go in and actually hot glue it. Then we're repeating that same step a few more times across the bra. Now we are gonna move on to the right side, and you see that I start off on the bottom with the white shells just so everything matches up equally. Now we're taking our teal glitter and we're going to start gluing the very first part of our bra in the inner corner. So just sprinkle on that teal glitter and smush it in. I'm not going to lie, this is probably the most tedious part in it all, but trust me you'll get through it and it's actually fun if you do enjoy it. All right, so this is what you should have. We're gonna do the same step in the second and third section. All right, so this is what you will have. It looks really good right now, but we do have naked spots, but don't worry, we're gonna fill that up. Now taking my rhinestones, I am going to place those on all the naked parts. Alright, so here's one side completed. Now we are going to move on to the next side. So this is what it will look like so far, but we are not done yet. Taking my pearl necklace, I'm going to grab my scissors and simply cut it. You should have a bunch of pearls like this, and I'm gluing a line in the first section. I'm going to glue six pearls just straight in a row. Now in the second section, I'm gluing four pearls, but they're spread apart. And for the third section, I'm simply going to do the same thing I did in the first section, glue six pearls right next to each other. Then smush it all in. So this is what you'll have. Now I'm going to focus on my centerpiece and I need three starfishes. So I'm gluing the very first one, that is white and it's kind of bigger than the rest in the middle, taking the second and gluing it, and taking the third and gluing it. So it'll look like this. 
Now I'm taking my big starfishes and I'm just going to start gluing a bunch of decor on each corner, specifically the top left and the bottom right. And you can choose whatever you like guys, I'm just choosing random starfishes and shells and I'm even adding more pearls. And this is the bra guys, like this is so pretty, it is so extra, it is so me, it's so under the sea, it's insane. It's so cute up close and far away. We have finished! It has been three hours since we started. But I am not mad with the results at all. In fact, I am very surprised with how it went. So this is the bra we created, guys. Honestly, this is insane. Like, literally a mermaid threw up on this times 10. But it's really, really cute. I mean, so much is going on in this bra, but I'm not mad at it. I love glitter. So this is just amazing to me that we actually pulled this off. I had no intended idea of putting the shells along the bra like that, like the baby ones, and then even doing all this extra stuff on the corners. I kind of thought I was just gonna spread everything out, but I didn't, and I didn't know the pearls were even gonna be on that. I didn't even know if the pearls were gonna make it onto the bra, but luckily we found a way. Yeah, this is it right here. I am so excited to wear this, and if you guys create this, I hope it doesn't take you as long as me, but then again, think of it like this. I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> and like I said in the last DIY, if you have leftover anything, you can put these in your hair. You could add it onto your pants or whatever you're gonna wear as your bottoms. I'm gonna put these in my hair and I'll probably get a few more just so I have like a cluster of under the sea stuff going on in my hair. I'm also gonna do my makeup and hair really cute and if you guys really wanna see the whole outfit itself with hair and makeup, please subscribe to this channel and like this video so you can see the video montage or collage or whatever of me wearing all my outfits at EDC and what they look like with me, full glam, full out, ready to go. Oh, and if you're wondering if there's a day three DIY, there is not. The day three outfit is very simple, so you will see it if you're subscribed and you see the video come up later. Those are my two DIYs for EDC this year. I hope you guys enjoyed the two and maybe even create it if you want or if it was just fun to watch. I know it was fun for me to make and I'm so so happy with it and yeah I think that's all I have left to say if you like this video again please give it a like and subscribe so thank you guys so much and I will see you guys next week bye you know I'm just trying to set up my filming and that's a distraction that makes me not want to do this anymore because I want to play he's gonna watch me do this entire DIY aren't you he's a DIY pug where's Pudgy Pudgy, here you are. Oh, can you see? Stretch, stretch. Stretch, I can't pick you up. Do you see him? There he is. Say hi. Hi, Boogie. This is my pug.